Hello YouTube and new stream. So this was supposed to be Monday's tech video, but I didn't really, yeah, wasn't able to do it because the main part of it hadn't actually arrived in the post. But it has arrived this morning, so let's get started. First off, here we've got uh, a MacBook charger, two gigs of DDR to uh, six six seven megahertz RAM and a MacBook battery for the mid-2007 model. Here, which is the package which arrived only this morning, is the uh, MacBook itself. So I'm gonna just try to replace the RAM, change the battery, and see how it goes. This was only like 200, 350 euro on eBay, so I originally didn't have very high hopes for it, but if it does work and it does do what it needs to do, then I suppose it's all that matters. So and stuff. Well, bubble wrap. And well, you know, the laptop wrapped in it. Okay, so, let me just. Okay, it looks to be in pretty excellent condition. Very few scratches. Um, I might need to replace the rubber feet on it, but other than that, it looks in good condition. Let's have a look inside here. Looking good. Very clean. I can't see any marks at all there. It looks practically new condition. A little bit of age is visible around the uh, the hinge here. And the back looks to be forced up the tiniest amount, but I wouldn't worry myself with that. The screen is practically perfect. There are a few little key marks there in it. I'm hoping they'll just buff out, so, I mean, according to the seller, you can't even see those when it's running, so I, w I won't concern myself with it. Let's see. Can we start it up? No. Yes, he did say that. It does come with a dead battery, like a defective one, so, um, let me just replace this. There we go. Take the battery out. Okay, that's the original battery. It was manufactured with actually, and we'll just unbox the ba battery really quickly. Instructions. The battery itself, and have we got anything under here? Let's find out real quick. Nope. Now the seller told me this comes with uh, about a gig of RAM. Now, like I said, I have I intend to upgrade that to um, two gigs. The maximum this will see is three point two, but there's no real need to go up that high for this notebook. Um, so let's take a look. See, will it boot now? I hear noise. I'm gonna get a startup chime. Wonderful. The screen looks like it's in very good condition. And we've got the boot video there. There appears to be no sound. I'm wondering why that is. Hmm. Curious. I don't know. Alright, so... Um, let me just pause the video here while I register and everything, and I'll come back once I'm finished. Alright, so welcome back to YouTube. I know Ustream's been going on for the whole time, but nothing to worry about there. Um, it has just finished uh, registering, and it's starting up now. Got our dock there. The colors are maybe a little bit washed out, but nothing too serious. Um, let me see. There's also a little bit of ghosting on the screen. I don't think I really worry about that. It's nothing too serious. It's probably more a result of the 
the wash out color than anything else. I'll have a look at that later. Um, anyway, let's find out what system we're running here. So it's running uh, OS 10 um, 5.7, 10.5.7. So I'm just going to go upgrade the RAM now and uh, we'll get this done. So let me take the battery out once again in order to replace the RAM. Okay, that aside. And okay, I'm going to need a very small screwdriver to do this. And I've uh, got a charger here. So I may get the, the screen replaced at some point, but uh, for the moment I'll just leave it as is. Alright, so just before I end this video, um, I just want to show you now. I have done the calibration of the screen, I've changed a few settings, and um, I've gotten rid of the ghosting. Apparently that was not an LCD issue, it was actually because the LCD was set incorrectly. Um, so as you can see now, the screen, uh, the quality looks very good. Obviously not quite as good as an LED display, but it does look quite good, very uh, vibrant colours, not at all um, washed out anymore. Um, so yeah, aside from that one issue that I did mention earlier about the... Uh, the casing at the back here, yeah, maybe just uh, peeking up a bit at the top, it's absolutely perfect. So 350 euro for this, definitely, I think it was definitely worth it. So um, I'll, link, I'll leave a link to the seller up in the description if anyone's interested in finding a cheap MacBook. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in my next video.